Welcome back to Horizon 2 Forbidden West Burning Shores and this is version 1.22 and this is my blind careful ultra hard let's play so uh, since last time there has came a new version that just fixes some um, crashes while mounting uh, mounts and uh, I uh, want to uh, comment on things as they come I want to be able to comment on things as they uh, uh, as they happened, but uh, sometimes or very often I think about things and uh, after what. So since I have slept since last time, there is some things that I have think that I wanted to say but didn't so first thing uh, about that lava cage the first time I saw lava uh, re run running down the side on the islands farther out I try to walk on them try to walk close to the actual um, glowing lava and I try to work beside it on the part that's not lit and uh, it didn't hurt me so when I accidentally fell down or um, came to a place that I couldn't um, uh, get up again it I saw that the lava didn't cover all the floor and that made me guess that I might be able to find a way, way to get up again and that the uh, level designer had allowed for a way to uh, find a way up if they accidentally uh, came in that position. Uh, and I started to burn and di died within a second or something and uh, I also saw that there were places higher up but I thought that uh, that was a place that we were supposed to get to after she had found a way up and came all the way around and up so I didn't saw the handholds the first time and I didn't look closer because I thought that that was the way that we would go around the came and up uh, in a later stage. And since there were, were um, chests and collectibles on the side, I thought that was the way I was supposed to go. And I clearly wasn't careful enough and uh, died as a because of it okay uh, i want to be able to walk and talk at the same time so uh, my plan now is to uh, try out some other things and collect some resources and hopefully talk about things at the same time so start by flying to my... Uh, I need some... Um, what are they called? I need my... Um, for upgrades. I need more luminous brainstems. So I'm going to collect some luminous brainstems. And as always, I'm going to mark uh time style stamp so that you could jump ahead if you want to 
Okay, so there are the things I wanted to uh, uh, comment on was the actual uh, data points and the actual stories. There is lots of um, uh, data points that comment on uh, what type of person uh, this um, parse in it. See, I'm not super. I'm not good at remembering names, but uh, they have a character bias. So Walter Londra, uh, lots of data points about how he treated his uh, employees. And I'm, I'm not interested in just uh, saying that uh, being bad is bad and um, not caring about other people is bad or something. Um, what I do want to uh, talk about is uh, what I think about how to uh, what to do about in a society this is beautiful I did last time I saw this I it was uh, later at night so this is obviously the, the the Pangea dinosaurs um, theme park or something. It's franchise with collectibles, movies, and theme park. So somewhere is the line where um, I don't want to cross for being shot down by that um, defense drone. Uh, I might be getting too close to the tower. Better steer clear. I'm looking for the markers for. Oh! I rush of air. Did it die? I was looking at the... Um, huh. Okay. <laughs> uh, there was... I thought there would be... Um, markers for the border. Maybe not. Don't want to... Let's stay away from that there. Okay, so this one is super dead now. Uh, right. Previously I saw the um, markers in the water. This looks interesting. A um, trailers um, truck, what's called, um, falling down. Could there be something uh, hidden here? Ah, it's just a uh, right then. Can I get up here? Okay, so but about the thing about the data points and uh, being uh, employed uh, I mentioned um, the thing about basic income and um, that's one thing that could allow you to uh, uh, supposing that the basic income has gives you the basic necessities for uh, 
for living. Uh, that's the thing that should be able to give you the um, option to uh, not work in a place where uh, you you are um, feel that you are abused, and if you are really unhappy at the place, you should be able to decide not to work there. And that would lead to psychic and physical health. But then all this is of course existing in a um, in a uh, cultural environment that um, pressure people to uh, or convinces people that uh, they would be happier if they had this product or this house or something and uh, for example that if you um, if you get married uh, have a children family uh, buys a house and so on you might have um, Uh, been uh, pressured or manipulated or something to uh, take on um, debt and uh, so you can be in a situation where you're not happy but uh, you don't find and you don't feel that you have the opportunity to uh, quit your job and that's what would make you a wage slave so it's a sort of um, slavery there um, you don't have an option not to do the work because um, it's um, or strictly not having the option to do something that you uh, like or uh, feel comfortable or uh, happy to do fulfilled by so uh, that's a cultural and psychological things that uh, people think that we need lots of stuff that will put them in economic debt but in reality they actually don't need it so I see the so I have been inside the border is that it because I see one of them here and here okay so I mistakenly flew inside the border that's too bad I need another sun wing now. I also want to check out um, this thing because I have the things I want to try out. So let's just walk again uh, along the shore. Yeah, so um, uh, that's a part of the um, marketing and uh, all the people whose work it is to uh, manipulate the minds. You know, the advertising uh, for most many large companies, uh, the advertising and the part that handles um, marketing in every aspect is a large portion of the total um, cost of uh, uh, continual cost of a business and it wouldn't be so if it 
didn't have an effect, so it's one thing to um, communicate that your product exists and another thing is to uh, try to uh, convince people to uh, why your product is better and uh, that you need, need it and that you need more of it and that you need the more most expensive version of it. So those are things that um, I'm thinking about in, in that topic that uh, sounds that I'm generally in the same uh, vicinity as previous time. Yes, uh, and that means that um, if the society in general would stay the same, a universal, unconditional basic income uh, would take the place as social security about. And that means that most people would want and in many cases need because of debt and other things or lifestyle choices or expectations uh, need to... Um, uh, take a job that they might not enjoy. Uh, so the situation would be sa the same in that scenario. But the hope is that um, basic income would lead to a cultural shift that would make people uh, choose to do more meaningful jobs rather than uh, as today and uh, choose to do things that we are happy with and also and that would lead to uh, a less degree of uh, the culture of uh, manipulation manipulation by uh, marketing and uh, advertisement and all those things yeah, I want to look at the bile gut here, not the other. F um, let's see, Th this one was the one we have seen two times now, or defeated two times. I want to look at this time, this thing. My hope is that there are other machines in the same place so that they can make them fight each other. Because I'm going to need more sack webbing and more um, um, brain stems or what, what it was called uh, again. Uh, brain stems, yes. And I want to uh, be less reliant on the map and compass and I want to use um, landmarks to navigate. So this one is west northwest and it's between me and the Quen settlement. What landmarks can I use here? And, this type of terrain makes it harder to uh, actually see the landmarks. But uh, still want to try. So west, northwest is this place. What can I see in that direction? Just that it's the, the coast and... There was something else here also that I wanted to not run into. And what do we have here? I 
also need to continuously So this one that's the thunder jaw Seems to be unmarked or I want to continuously also pick uh, all the herbs I can because the vigor stems as far as I have uh, understand it are things that you pick up randomly while picking up other herbs that means that you should pick up everything all the time can I see what this is now that was what I'm was okay let's go down again then Okay, where was it? This one? I love this terrain, I think they... It's... Very nicely done uh, yeah, about all the things in uh, this environment and how it's done. I'm going to try to um, walk over. <laughs> that was could have been bad. Okay, uh, another thing that I wanted to talk about last time that was uh, all the combination locks and uh, codes for doors um, and uh, Mostly, the only realistic um, door codes would be um, the one in Forbidden West where you had a four digit code and a key. That's a two factor authentication with a code and a physical key. Everything from um, Zero Dawn and the Frozen Wilds is has no relationship with re reality and you wouldn't also not you would also not have just a code with no, no physical uh, requirement unless it was at least six digit, digits and that of course depends on a lot of other things Okay, this is uh, close to the bile gut. So, uh, I might have missed something uh, regarding the... If he said that, why would he chose a code for his door without a physical key? And combine it from random numbers from his asteroid mining uh, company that's uh, I think it, it was a interesting puzzle or rather it would have been an interesting puzzle if there wasn't voice line that would shout out the right answer that uh, she would say that yes here is the information I was looking for before you actually had time to read the text and figure out that for yourself I think that games of this type should have an difficult options that would let you to not get Aloy giving away the answer for every puzzle that you are work working on so, uh, like the um, 
I hope they can't scan the environment. This is a lot. And it's getting dark now also. I can see the razor claw, but I don't see uh, much else here. So from this, I mean, you have an apex claw trying to here. Nothing more here. Okay, there are several cross striders. One here also. Also Apex. And this Balgat could be um, taken over if uh, I would have the override for it. What did it say? This is. Uh, Theta overrides, not not something I have. Okay, so that's not quite good enough, I think. Let's look again. I need sun wings. Where did I find? This is sun wing. Ah, so where, that's where they came from. I was, this caravan had sun wings coming to protect it and they might have come from here and ultimately from the quadrant that might be around here or here probably. I, it might be good to explore this uh, section and this section also so I know what I have to uh, what I can do but my immediate um, plan is to use the tide rippers and the tremor task to get my brain stems. But first for the sunwing. So I'm going to swim over to your my stash. If you're looking in another direction maybe. Thank you. So I'm on my way to um, to this. It is called shelter. Sh and those are usually lit directly to the west, but it's around the corner. So. Uh, I might not see the light from here. Yeah, so, yeah, okay. I think that's what was the thing I thought about regarding uh, the things that happened last time. Uh, and I'm really not happy about um, not surviving the lava and also I want to remember every time things happen to pause I could just use the options to pause and to uh, remember take a time for the potions and the foods because I have prepared to use them 
but I'm still uh, most of the time not using it. So last time we were sun wings and the um, clean talks, fire clean talks. I mean, I um, think it, <laughs> it wasn't good enough because it's not, I should also remember to uh, think what's the best position is because I could always uh, look around and run to another location. I thought that it was a pretty, pretty good location at first when then they, there came more machines and I would have to back up a bit. See I'm using more expensive ammunition so I'm uh, Decreasing my amount of uh, volatile sludge. Which means that I should use the hunter bow more often. Also, I want to take another look at the passive uh, skills. So even if I don't want um, Warrior's Vigor. So increase your awareness of weakened enemies and their duration in an act. Increase your awareness of weakened enemies and the duration when you are knocked down. What does increase your awareness mean? I'm not sure what this means. Uh, Elemental Spear. Deal elemental damage with your spear by attaching elemental capsule from your hunter's kit. Huh. Okay, so that's the melee things. Smoke Bomb Heal. I got that. Rogue Cross the Expert. Yeah, I should remember that I could increase the tie down by... Um, a time. Okay, glide targeting. That's nice, but uh, not what I'm usually doing. Machine grapple strike. Gain ability to grapple. Grapple strike machines. Huh. That looks cool. Huh. This could be fun, but uh, I might wait with these things. Low health stamina. Regain weapon stamina faster when you are in critical health states. Good to have. 
Shield drop, gain the ability to craft and deploy drop shields. Yeah, that's uh, the uh, tripcaster uh, thing. Maximize shield durability by equipping outfit waves, increasing the skill by up to two levels. Oh, so that's the drop shields. Haha. <laughs> That might be interesting also. I could think of using that. Berserk Blast. I have used in one by combat here, this far. This is the thing I want to do now. Uh, I should have used the Tide Ripper previously. I'm going to... Uh, Yes, that. Right, so that's the Berserk Blast. This is the Hunter's Mark. Missed this one. Truck Mines. So I'm just maximizing the things that I'm uh, similar to my playstyle for now. Right, Sunwing next, past the Clumber Jaws. I thought that this uh, campfire would have been marked because I flew over here before. Okay, so let's just... Um, Get over to the sandwings. I don't need to run that fast. Fail. So I'm holding to right now just to avoid the clamber jaws. Should also scan for more valuables. This is the clamber jaw stuff. Okay, so there's one who looking it in this direction and there are others on the other side. I can't see, no, I see a little bit of protection on this side. Grass. Oh, no, we are looking at the other direction. 
that would uh, help so i'm you i'm doing this uh since I have turned off um, world markers, I don't have the ability to mark uh, enemies with my focus, and that means that I will have to uh, keep track of them. So that's the thing that makes it a bit harder. Just in case the earth trying to shoot me down, I'm using my uh, tactician and fly away. Okay, it seems to have been worked out okay. Thank you. Nice. So now I got my uh, sunwing and um, I wanted to, I have a bit more to explore around here. Um, but uh, let's do the Tide Reaper first. This one is a good position, it's a uh, normal variant and uh, and it's uh, on land instead of in water and I want to try out my um, Not Pursuit Blast. Override Overdrive. Powered by a special mode in your focus, all the overridden machines emit an arc of electricity to nearby enemies, dealing more damage. Take damage over time and explode upon death. Explode upon death. Uh, um. So does the thing that I'm override, override also take the damage or not? Well, let's find out. I need to find another herd. Didn't get the parts I need. Let's see what this has for effect. And please, I need something to aggro now. Now 
That should be enough. What's, uh, what was that? Oh, okay, it was uh, water around it. But that wasn't long lived. Should I have done that before I override my the machine? I actually didn't see anything. It should have been sparks around it. Huh. Did this work at all? I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm going to need that uh, brainstem. Fly! And I'm going to need the... Uh, want to build up more valor search. So I guess I'm going to... Yeah. Did I get random food again? This is one. No, I forgot to uh, equip it. So... Stand still! I think everyone is dead, so uh, let's just freeze this. Check again uh, for water. This is not the right one. Uh, so I can go back to this for perch water. Freeze it. Thank you. And avoid the. No, I also want this one. <laughs> that was too powerful. One brainstem. And I got a little bit of value search also. So uh, on to the tremor task after I have collected this. Is that all? Able to get in the air. Oh, that's a big storm. Now I it's see the storm bird. Moment. It Never wasn't there before. before. Was this the bug? Closer look from the sky. So, Carefully. since there was 1.22, maybe this was one of the things they actually fixed. That storm bird's headed into the clouds. I see I that. Track it with my focus. That it's Stormbird's just... behaving erratically. I think it's seeding the clouds somehow. This time I, I saw machines. This time I saw the Stormbird. Okay, so they've actually fixed the bug. Whoa! Close call! I can't let it get the jump on me. Oh, 
There it goes. Shock. I got a pretty good shock, but I'm still... Uh, this one is better since I'm better protected. So, was this supposed to happen? Did I just... Um, did it die? I mean, I, I switched to the Tanakh Tactician in order to make it more resistance to... Oh! Now it's coming down. Now I can fight it. Okay, let's do this. I don't. Okay, let's see. I still got some of the code and uh, focus shot thing. Stop saying that. We still haven't fixed that bug. So this is an apex variant. Means uh, weak against um, acid and plasma. So I should use the acid mostly. But I also have the uh, uh, acid chain reaction in the neck and uh, plasma in the tail. I got those available. The only thing I want to add is, is the Weapon for, excuse me, this one, Corrosive Blasting. So I will put that, um, replace the Tear Blast. No, I can't do that. I need that for Plasma. I don't have enough positions for everything. Not that one. Let's see, uh, yeah, this is what, so I don't want to, well, okay, I could place the normal hunt mode because it's apex. So, uh, if I get the chance, no, that is my acid arrows, stupid. Can I avoid it? I did it. Okay, so this is the plasma. And if this trigger, it will um, negate the acid, I think. I'm actually running out of time now. Uh, this is a bad cat, so... I'm just going to pause here and continue this in the next episode. Since I don't have a natural um, cutting point here. 
Uh, bye for now.